126 year old. Well, they'd probably be older now, wouldn't they? Well, they were planned in 1892. Wow. Hmm. Yeah. 1892. I believe that the original um, grower was a guy called Philipson, and mm -hmm. um, he planted it, and then sold it to the Wrigley's, who ultimately bought Wira Wira. Yeah. Um, he passed through a couple of people, but uh, Richard's, um, Richard Hamilton's father, uh, Burton, bought this vineyard in 1947. So Burton Hamilton. Burton Hamilton. Burton Hamilton, yeah. So he bought the vineyard in 1947. So um, look, at that, look at that oh colour. Oh my gosh, mm. that's dark. Yeah. So, if you're looking at sort of history, this is this is wow. this is part of our our, our, our our history now, or, yeah, yeah. or part of our carrying on the history that somebody else started, yeah. and we're, now we've been carrying it on for 70, 70 odd years. Oh, yes. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we could cut it and you could work it out. That's right. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. Look at the colour so of that. Trend. That so, is a very so, burgundy. Um, the block is it on the Mercury Road as well. It's on the Medway Road as well, yeah. so it's on the on the same acreage basically as what um, as as what the as what Hut Eleven yeah. um, Cabernet came from. Uh, these are very old gnarly vines, um, mm -hmm. which have been yard manager Lee, Lee, Lee Harding and, and his crew. We probably, we probably haven't done much of that. Tell us, tell us who's, who's in your winemaking team? Oh, our winemaking team? Yeah, because you've taken all the glory yourself. So no, we haven't. Who else is actually up. Oh no, our, our <laughs> winemaking team is um, is. Greg for Foster and myself. Yeah. So Greg's been winemaker uh, with us since um, the end of uh, 2018. Right. And eh? um, Greg's um, Greg's had a lot of experience in various wineries. He's a bit of a gun, isn't he? He's fantastic. He's yeah. really great. Um, and we form a good team. Now Greg is the type of guy that um, is dots all the eyes all the way through. Yeah. I'm a bit of a scatterbrain. I sort of think about things and dart in all different directions. So Greg's. Focused. Greg's focused on getting things done, and so there's nothing ever missed. You know, Greg takes it all attention to detail, yeah. and then actually passionate about his wines, and so forth. Yeah. So yeah, I think we form a pretty good team. Yeah, that's yeah. Greg. Um, but, but 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 here in our vineyard is Lee is Lee Harding, um, guy 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 Hamilton, who is Richard's uh, a nephew. Yeah. Um, oh, yes. and, and Deb and the, th and, the th and the three of the three of them sort of make up our vineyard team here. So they've looked after these vines and nurtured them. You now, being old vines, they, they're they obviously resilient, but... Um, oh, they need some love still. They, 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 they do. They need, they need heaps of love and heaps of care. And they've mm -hmm. re reconstructed the vines and, mm -hmm. and produced them so that now it's um, largely on, on two different wires. Mm -hmm. And they've structured it so that the, the, the fruit hangs out nicely. It's not all clumped together. It all hangs out almost picture perfect the way it looks. Okay. But it doesn't then just lend itself solely to to picking the whole block and then making the wine. We will go through and uh, it's all it's all hand picked. Yeah. And we'll go through and uh, Lee will, in, in order to instruct instruct the um, the pickers where to start and stop for different 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 uh, fruit qualities. Uh, he'll paint sort of lines on the ground with with marking paint, and so you pick this bit to here. Okay, and that goes into this trailer. Oh, wow. You pick this bit to here, and it goes into this trailer, and we'll so handle those. Off. That's, it's, that's even though it's unbelievable. Only goes, even though it's a small vineyard, we just. So you don't realize the work that goes into yeah, it. Until it's a, a lot goes into it. Okay? So, so what goes into this is the to top of the range. Yeah. This is what we think this is, is, is our the best, range. best quality wine. Right. So, okay. yeah, and if it's part of that vineyard which doesn't quite make the grade, then, then we don't good. include it. Hmm. So, colour. How are we feeling on colour and smell? That colour mm. is rich. Yeah, it's dark. That is mm. rich. Really, so I'm expecting really the. Uh, oh, we're going to do the napkin trick. Yeah, I had to. Mm. Even, even <laughs> though Please love that now. You're never going to. Every show well, you're going to be doing yeah. the napkin trick now. We've got a white table usually, so it's easy. <laughs> mm. That's good. It's deep and dark. It smells it's beautiful. Mm. It smells beautiful. What are you smelling? Um, rich. Not as much peppery as it is. No spice? A little bit of spice. A little bit of spice, not as peppery. And then oh. I haven't actually had a sip yet. Very smooth. Mm. Your face melted after oh, that, so let's so give good. it a go. This is um, fermented in, in vats. So we've got um, uh, three, um, mm. three oak, oak, oak vats, and they hold you know, just a little bit of fruit each. Oh, wow. And they're just, just we, we actually pump those over rather than, rather than hand plunging, so we pump the fruit over in those vats. And... Wow. Um, 
um, just manage with as much of hands-on work as, as we can. We also do a bit in um, um, probably oh, 25 percent of it's done by, by our hands, so we actually hand, hand plunge it in into the 500 kilogram lots. Wow. Just to uh, just to get a bit of bit of whole bunch um, characteristics in there, where you get a bit of the influence of stalks yeah, and a yeah. few other things that, yeah. that are going to complement the wine and help build the structure we'll of the wine. Change that flavour. Mm. Mm. Yeah. Again, it's a it would get a reasonable amount of new oak, and, and this is where we use some of those water bent um, Burgundian barrels yeah, okay. uh, to, 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 yeah. in, okay. to, to impart some oak character into these. Okay, and so also, it's a little bit more of those yeah. oaky type barrels if people don't know well, what those are. Ones, ones that don't impart a lot of oak character, but a lot of a lot of just subtle oak character. Okay, yeah. okay. So, and then probably 12 months in those barrels. Mm -hmm. And then worked into older barrels, so it's got, got okay, an influence okay. in the Okay, so it transfers from that, that in, oaky in, barrel into an older barrel, older barrel so yeah. you're just enhancing that with flavour as it yeah. as it's and developing it. So trying, to get, trying to get that level of complexity. So you get a layer of complexity from older barrels mm -hmm. you don't get from new oak. Which you can taste in it anyway. Mm. It's almost oh, got a couple of layer, layers of, yeah. of, of flavour there. My question so, for you is, do they make it every year? Or if the is fruit, it not if available fruit, every year? If the fruit quality yeah. is not up to... Um, we, will, we, we haven't missed a year. Um, that's a good vineyard. So that's a, a good vineyard. <laughs> that's a good vineyard. <laughs> but um, the the amount that we release under Centurion would would, yeah, vary, would, yeah. would vary from year to year. Okay. okay. So we're, we're expecting. So depending a, on the quality of. A good year this year. We're expecting a good year this yeah. year. Yeah. Mm. Twenty twenty one, mm. something to look forward to. Yeah. Oh, so with this little darling, you like your tastier, don't you? So you want a little bit more flavour when it comes to pairing. Oh, yeah, I reckon. Do you like that? The, the, blue, the blue, blue might you go. Like your blue okay. Here. I reckon that my choice will be the cherry okay. too. Okay. We haven't done the chorizo yet. No, we've been, saving, we've been saving that, yeah. Sure. We're just going to go straight to chorizo. We're going to try a little bit of blue. All right, we've got to try a bit of blue. How about we Do try a bit, a bit of blue? Oops. How are you feeling? A biscuit and a bit of blue and then a bit yeah, of maybe. chorizo? This uh, well, chorizo well, is from Ellis Butchers too. So it's going to be top of the range. All down south local, fantastic. Yeah. Beautiful. Mm. So what, what, what have you chosen? Me? Yeah. Mm. Oh. I'm a pretty simple guy. I, I really love my fresh bread. I don't know that's that yeah, bread is just lovely. You keep going back to the fresh bread. I just bread, go back to the fresh bread. That's just so tasty. That bread. Mm. Right, eh? and, um... Bread and butter. Oh no, no butter. <laughs> oh no butter. No butter. Don't just dry. Butter. Just dry bread. Yeah. Mm. Right, soak, soak in the centurion. That oh. would be nice. Alright. Mm. So we're heating the blue cheese. Mm. Mm. The cheese is so nice, isn't it? Mm. Mm. Still too strong. Still? Yeah. yeah. Does soften the wine a lot. It does, yeah. But yeah, I don't know, that blue's too strong. Mm. Maybe the cheddar instead? Mm. Yeah. Yeah, alright. Yeah, that sounds like a great idea. I'm really hungry too, so I'm not gonna say no to whatever you <laughs> dish out. Actually that's that's a, actually I reckon this is really good. Yeah, you're call. right. There's so much strength in that blue cheese that it almost takes away from the flavour within the wine. So Try the cheddar. Mm. Oh, hundred times better. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yep. Mm. Because this wine's just a pup. You know, it's just a. It's a very young wine. It's just a, it, It's approachable now, but you've got to try and imagine this wine you know, for the, for, you know, for for those who are really serious about wine and want to lay it down for a few years. And and um, I can only imagine what it might look as an older one. Mm. I haven't heard much from Jade since the Shiraz came out. I've just downed the chorizo to give mm. it a go. Right, eh? Mm. Mm. Beautiful spice. selected meats, by the way. A little bit of spice, but let's see how it cuts with the, uh, the wine. Okay, the peppery taste of the chorizo slightly takes away from the wine, but still a nice compliment. Mm. Still a nice compliment. I think the cheddar is probably the top notch compliment with, mm. with this one here. You reckon? I think so because it doesn't take it away too much from the flavour. I find there's a lot of pepper in that, maybe that chorizo in itself, so it sort of adds that little peppery over time. But mm. how are we feeling? Uh, I like the meat for sure. Yeah. You're a meat yeah. man? Yeah, I just. <laughs> so it's now time for my choice? Yeah. It is. Right. Take your pick. We're back to the bread. We're back to the bread. <laughs> feel like now, how do we do this? Huh? Oh, that's it. Are we doing plain bread? Are we dipping it in anything? No, we're just having plain bread. We're not doing the uh, 
Okay. Plain bread. Plain bread. Plain bread. Mm. Plain bread. Uh, right. Your summer flavour. I'll be chewing on it for five minutes. Mm -hmm. a bit dry, but yeah. <laughs> Mm. So we're cleaning, we're mm. cleaning the palate. Yeah, here. we need some wine. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Is it not? I haven't finished the so bread simple. yet. <laughs> <laughs> we have oh. a bit of wine, it soaks into the bread, so it's not quite chewy. Mm -hmm. I'd have to say that I'm backing your wife's a pretty good cook. <laughs> and me? No, I'm not so much. <laughs> <laughs> For a winemaker, mm. you're, you're not much of a idea. chef, I don't reckon. Right. Too simple? Yeah. No. Okay, so the bread cleaned the palate. It does. To get the full flavour of the mm. wine. I'd say that was uh, the yeah. benefit of yeah. that. Yes. <laughs> you are nice. Yeah, you are nice. It's food, food that allows you to appreciate the wine rather than necessarily That's it. complimenting the two percent. Unless you prefer something that doesn't take away from the wine. I can appreciate that. Do you know what I reckon would go really well with this wine? More meat. Pate. <laughs>